So when I think about bushcraft and I think about what it's all about and having a good time out in the woods and using that traditional gear and using those traditional skills and having that even traditional look with your gear, one guy comes to mind all the time and that's my good friend Robert Hutchins. Now I have taken classes with Robert, he has been here at the school, he has taken classes here at the school, and the last time I was with him he said, hey, I have a project for you, you think you can do it, and he went through the whole thing and it was like a mixture of different products, and when we were all done talking about it, I said, yeah, I could definitely do that. Since we're making tarps and we're sewing stuff, I can definitely do this. Let me like wrap my mind around it and see where I can make some little changes and some adjustments, and, and we came up with the Hutchins roll. And honestly, I think when you see this and you have it in your hands, you're like, man, this is something like in the Horace Kepar book, you would see like and be like, oh man, if we only had that piece of gear today, or like Nesmic would have this piece of gear, I feel like along with them, because it is like the quintessential traditional bushcraft type of piece of gear. It's, oh, I love it. Let me show it to you, because there's so much you could do with it, and I, I think by the end of the video, you'll probably be thinking, oh, I could probably do this and this and this. It's great, and it's so simple, it's, it's nuts. So this is it, this is the Hutchins roll. It doesn't look like much right now. It's canvas, it's sewing, it's some snaps. It's, uh, let me just show you it up close. Okay, so to lay this roll out, we have the, what we're gonna consider the bottom side. So this is a very, very heavy, heavy duty cotton canvas. It is also wax treated, so it is water resistant. And then we have a lighter canvas on the top end of this. Now each side has a loop on the end, okay? So that's a sewn in loop right across the whole side. And you're gonna see why we have that in a little bit. And then on the bottom end of this, what we have is we have some snaps, okay, built right into that loop. Now you could still get through the loop, all right, no problem, so the snaps aren't in the way or anything, but uh, we have those. And don't worry, I'm gonna show you why we have all this stuff here. We're gonna start very simple and move up to the most complex thing that I figured out with this so far around thought process. So let's just start out with a ground mat. So you can use this as just a ground mat to sleep on top of. So if you have this along with you and the ground's wet or you need a moisture barrier because you didn't bring your gum blanket or something like that, you can lay this down because again, that back side or the underside is waxed canvas. So it is going to be water resistant. So you'll be able to sleep right on top of that really easy. Now, the next feature in this is that you can take this end and you can bring it up and you can snap it together. What that's gonna do is, of course, enclose one side of this. Now, why that's really, really nice is because we can then stuff this with debris. So we can use leaves, we can use pine boughs, we can stuff this inside to make ourselves a browse bed. So in colder conditions, if we don't have a mat with us and we're doing a whole traditional bushcraft thing and we have this roll with us, we can take it along with us, we can stuff it with leaves, different debris, bring it back into camp, set it down, the debris's not gonna fall out while we're carrying it, and then we can sleep right on top of it. So we can make a mattress just so easily out of it. Now, if a debris bed is not your thing and you're just not into that at all and you're gonna carry a sleeping mat with you, if it's an inflatable sleeping mat, one thing that I'm sure most of you already know is that sleeping next to a fire with that, you get those embers that pop or crackle and they pop off into your shelter in the winter time, they'll put a hole in those inflatable mats just that quick. So with this, you can really easily just slide your inflatable mat inside. Now, what it's gonna do is it's gonna protect that inflatable mat from those popping embers. Of course, if you throw a hot ember on top of this and let it sit for a long time, of course, it's gonna burn it. But just those little poppers that just hit quick and sizzle out, it's not gonna hurt this stuff at all. It might put a small little burn, but it's not gonna deflate your pad by any means. So it's gonna be a pad protector if you're gonna camp right next to the campfire. It's also gonna eliminate your whole traditional camp setup from looking like you had this one piece of gear that's totally out of place. So if you get those bright yellow pads and they're all blown up and it's stuck in there with your nice wool blanket, your oilcloth tarp, all your canvas gear and this inflatable pad, it just doesn't do it. So a lot like reenactments, you can slide it in here and keep that ambiance around camp traditional. 
So you're sleeping on top of it with your wool blanket and you realize that it's starting to get really cold. Well, because of the heavy canvas on here, that canvas is gonna work as an insulator. So with this bottom section of this clipped together, we now have a sleeping bag. So we can slide inside this sleeping bag with our wool blanket or whatever kind of blanket we have and give ourselves more insulation. It's gonna warm us up and we're gonna be more protected. But if you were going low key, just this roll and your wool blanket, you're on top of it with your wool blanket, it starts to get cold, you get inside, and then you realize it's gonna start to rain. What you can always do is you can take the bottom side, which is the darker green side, and you can flip it up, okay? Because it's wax canvas, it's gonna offer water resistance. So as it rains and that side's up, it's gonna beat off and it's gonna keep you more protected than if you were just a totally exposed. And I can personally tell you from experience, there's been times I went out with a wool blanket and just my gum blanket, and I thought I'm gonna just sleep out under the stars, and two in the morning, here comes the rain. So. Then you have to make a decision, you're just gonna stay out and be wet, or you're gonna try to cover yourself with a gum blanket, you're trying to find a tree to go under, just totally ill-prepared because you thought it was gonna be nice. In this case though, you could flip this upside down, still sleep inside it, and still be protected. And then the next part of this, which is probably my most favorite part, is you can utilize this because it's a long tube as a raised bed. Now what's nice about something like this is not only do you have a raised bed situation with your tripods that you can sleep on your raised bed like this, okay? Super, super comfortable. But in colder type environments, when you're still up off the ground, you don't wanna be down, maybe it's really wet. What you can do is you can stuff this because it's a tube. You can stuff it with hay or debris or even pine boughs and that's gonna create a layer of insulation for you. So you're still up off the ground, but you're still gonna stay nice and warm. So two tripods, two long branches, and our Hutchins roll, perfect. And then lastly, if the raised bed just isn't your thing or you don't have the availability to be able to cut down sticks, you can still get up off the ground with this. Because we have these end loops in place here, right, like this, and because it's a hollow sleeve, we can really easily turn this into a hammock. And then just like that, we have a new setup. So if you wanna just chill around camp for the day, hang out, even sleep in this thing, I mean, you're gonna be solid. And like that, the Hutchins roll has come to life. So again, other options for this. Um, when you look at something heavy duty like this, okay, you can think about storing firewood inside here or small material in here if you weren't using it while you're back at camp. You can also think about folding this thing up and tying it onto a Roycroft pack frame. That way your backpack, your bedroll, everything is all in one as you tie that onto there. I've also played around with taking these two loops, pulling them together and making a sling chair. So that works really, really nice also. And of course you can just set this thing on top of a log and you can offer yourself protection from the wet ground or the dirty ground, whatever you need to do while you're working on stuff. So processing material on here wouldn't be a problem or anything like that. And that, my friends, is the Hutchins roll. So I hope you enjoyed that. There's, a, like I said, there is a ton of different stuff that you can do with this. Um, it's really just down to your imagination of what you can make happen with this thing. Now, one thing I know that a lot of people are gonna ask overall when it comes to this is, number one, the size. So the width of this is approximately 42 inches and it's about seven foot in length. So there's enough length even for a big person like myself to be able to lay on this and still have some coverage. And then secondly, the hammock setup itself. I'm gonna do a separate video on the hammock setup. As of right now, for all the testing that I have done with this to make sure that it works right and holds up correctly. I have been using a variety of different ropes and straps for that. I, I'm trying to get it dialed in exactly so it's very simple and easy for everybody. So that video will come of how to just do that in the field. We're also developing an additional hammock add-on that you can buy for this that will give you all the necessary components to use this thing properly as a hammock. That way it takes a lot of the guesswork out because right now, although it's definitely doable and I've done it several different ways, getting rope and getting your sticks for the end, 
you got to play around with it till you get it just right. So I want to be able to offer a way for everybody to use this as a hammock just very easily. Just take that extra component kit along with you and then you can set it up and just chill out by camp all day long. So if you're interested in one of these Hutchins rolls, you can check them out. The link is below or go to coldcrackerbushcraft.com. They are available for pre-sale. We'll be shipping them out as soon as you, we get them made and your name's up in the queue right out the door. They will go to you to start to enjoy. So I hope you guys enjoy this as much as me because this is now one of my favorite projects and one of my favorite items that we're now making at the shop. It's just, it's super awesome, super versatile. But if you come up with anything else to utilize this thing for, definitely hit us up and let us know because I'd love to make some more videos on this thing about uses and way to, ways to get it done with this. Um, again, click the link below if you want one of these things and uh, get your name on the list. So this was Dan Wolbach with Cold Cracker Bushcraft. As always, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com. And until next video, stay in the woods.